minutes before 12 o'clock. It's time to have fun with Joe. Joe Martone is in the studio. Oh, hi there. There you are. You're <laughs> rattling something over there. <laughs> Today, it's science trivia. That's my brain. Listen, watch. <laughs> wow, that was good. That was a good effect. Yeah, a good effect, yes. Oh, I need to put you on the camera. Hold on. Oh, I got to do it again? Yeah, do it. Hold on. Uh, there, now you're on. Now you're on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, well, thank you, everybody, for listening to Fun with Joe today. Science today, Joe. Science. Science trivia. What was that, what was that line in that, in that song? She blinded me. She blinded me with <laughs> silence. Oh, science. Yeah. Silence. Auga. There we go. All right. <laughs> Fix my pen. That was for you, Larry. I'm sorry. That was for me. That was for you to, to uh, enjoy and indulge yourself. Right, right. And get in trouble. He told me to do it. <laughs> well, we got these. We have two more tickets here for the Silver Springs International Film Festival. Uh, this is for April 10th. And that's two days from now. Yeah, three days. Three from days. Now. Yeah, three days from yeah. now. And that starts from 11 in the morning till well, night at night. You know, all the different uh, balcony and and or uh, the main theater. You have the you use these tickets to go see. It's a one-day pass, so I guess you can stay there all day. Each one, wow, each one's worth thirty-five dollars. We're gonna give two of those away, and from Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens, your gardening experts since nineteen fifty-two, right here in Ocala. Because if they're anywhere else, it'd be harder to deliver. Uh, it's a twenty-dollar gift <laughs> card, gift card, and they guaranteed what they sell. Give them a call at six two nine fifty-seven sixty-six. That's Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens. And that's what we have today for you today. today, today, today. Prizes. That's our good prizes. So, yeah, well, it's 70, 70, 80, 90 dollars worth of prizes today. Well, this film festival is an event not to be missed. Film festival is very popular. Yeah, a lot of people are well, happy if, about this. Yes, yes, my. Uh, Last year was so successful that it catapulted the second year to being more successful. I like yeah, that. catapulted. It did. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Catapulted. Yeah. Hmm. All right, that's it, huh? Any any uh, segue? I mean, uh, what do you call it? Disclaimer, please. Disclaimer? Hey, disclaimer? <laughs> Don't you know the word disclaimer? Huh? If, if you or anyone in your household has won fun with Joe in the past 30 days, you are ineligible to play today. All right, it's science trivia today. I have a feeling these are going to be tough questions. I like science. It's very good, very interesting. All right, the phone number to play if you want to bet on Joe is 622-9622. And if you want to bet on Robin, the number is 622-9622. Same if you, number. If you, bet, <laughs> if you bet on the winner, then you're the winner. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny and warm today with a shower or thunderstorm around during the afternoon and evening. The high 82 to 86. Partly cloudy overnight, low 64 to 68. Sunshine mixing with building clouds tomorrow with a thunderstorm around in the afternoon. The high 84 to 88. Thursday, sunshine and warm. The high 85 to 89. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. Johnny, what are you doing in the bathroom? What are you saying? Wait, where are your toy cars? Oh no, tell me you didn't. Honey, call Mike Scott Plumbing. I didn't do anything. For once, that's true, but little Johnny flushed his toys down the toilet and now it's broke. Yes. I mean, no, no. I'll get the phone. What's the toll free number? 866 314 4443. Got it. 866 314 4443. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, they do it. At Mike Scott Plumbing, from the moment you walk through the doors, it's evident that quality is key. From our fully stocked parts department 
to our fully trained service technicians who can help with anything from a clogged drain to your irrigation system and even servicing your entire septic system. Visit one of our beautiful showrooms in Hernando or in Wildwood and let us show you how to turn your kitchen and bath dreams into reality. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. All right, uh, thirteen That's minutes so fun, before you know, fun. <laughs> thirteen minutes before twelve o'clock, we're gonna have fun right now. Fun with Joe. Marcus is betting on you, Joe, Woo! and Fred is betting on you, Robin. Yeah. All science. You blinded me with science. You ready? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what? <clears throat> who? Let me open my eyes. Who is the only woman with two Nobel prizes? One in chemistry and one in physics. Marie Curie. Marie Curie is right. Fred, we're on the board. That was hard. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Which British scientist came up with the three laws of motion? Newton. Newton is right. Good job. Sir one Isaac one. Newton. Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the point. Uh, what, is, what is the movement of water through a selectively permeable membrane? Is it gas? No. Filter? What, what do you call the... No, what do you call the movement sir. of water? No. Uh, <clears throat> no, but it is used in... Filtration. Some filtration, yes. The movement of water through a selectively permeable membrane. Mm, moving you, water I, through it. When you hear it, you're going to know it. You're going to say, oh, it's man. Purification. No, you're going to know it. Good morning, do you know? Osmosis. Osmosis is right. Oh! <laughs> the was, point is Joe. Joe gets the point. Oh, all right, two for right. Marcus and Joe, osmosis. one for me and Fred. Right. Now I got to remember that because you move like osmosis. Right. <laughs> what, what is the closest star to planet Earth? The sun. The sun is right. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Joe's on fire. <laughs> Not sun, fire. Get that. I got it. <laughs> I'll do the jokes here What today. solar system yeah. bodies... Would you encounter in the belt between Mars and Jupiter? What solar system bodies would you encounter in that belt? The Milky Way? Orion? Between Mars and Jupiter, no. Orion? No. Orion's belt or the Milky Way? He said no to either no. one. <laughs> How about a Mars bar? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know? Asteroids. An asteroid, yes. Oh, an asteroid oh. belt. That's right, sure. <laughs> and the point? Well, Jim, the machine, is helping Joe, so all my points have to go to Robin. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have a feeling this is the battle of those two brains right there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about the battle of two brains right here? No, you've done good. You've done good. You've done good. You've Wait done a good. minute. I, the battle uh, of right I right. insulted. I'm sorry. Someone shouldn't have said no to it. Was it was unintentional. All right, what number <laughs> is 10 to the 12th power in the United States, but 10 to the 18th power in the United Kingdom? One million. No. You're sort of on the right a track. Trillion? A trillion? A trillion is right. Trillion. I don't understand that. How is that possible? I was off by a few I don't zeros. understand that at all. How is that even possible? All right. Yeah. Possible. Uh, what do you call the line segment that connects any two points on a circle? What do you call the line segment? Diameter. No. A radius? No. An arc? No. It's a, it's a, a line a, I, I know this word as a musical term. Really? Yeah, if that's a clue. It's not the circumference. Uh, it's a musical term. What do you call a line segment that connects any two points on a circle? My clue is I know this word as a musical term. Interception. Oh, my gosh. In interlude. I mean, nobody's even calling. So this is a Give me the first initial, then. C. The center? No. <laughs> circumference. Not, not circumference, no. A C for a musical term. Good morning, do you know? Chord. It is a chord. A chord. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Good get that. Okay. Wow, that's a, I never knew that. And, and uh, who's the point for? Robin, please. Robin. Thank you. All right, all right. A chord. Mm. All right, uh, let's see. In, in the biological classification system, <laughs> <laughs> what comes between species and family? Mother-in-laws. 
<laughs> that <laughs> great. is good. That's great. You would have been good on like, uh, what's that one with the... Th- the tic tac toe game. What's that called? Oh, Hollywood Square. Yeah, you would have been good yeah. on that one. Mm. You would have been the center square. I think. Mm. Good morning. Do you know? Is it the genus? It is the genus. Yes. Good job. Wow. Who's the point for? Uh, we're gonna go with Joe today. Joe. Yeah, all right. All right. The genus. Four to four. You rub the bottle. Here comes the genius. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good one. Uh, 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 let's. Oh, yeah. You fooled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh oh. At what theoretical temperature is entropy at its minimum value? Zero. Yes, zero is Good right. Good job. Good job. Ooh. Good job. <laughs> uh, oh, there's Steve. Wh- what is what is the surname of the French physicist after whom the SI unit for electric current is named? Ohm. <clears throat> no. Not Ohm. No, but you're in the right area. It's one of those words that you always hear together. Ohm's law. <laughs> no. huh. ACDC. Woo-hoo-hoo. No, no. Uh, good morning, do you know? Okay, Larry, I don't really know how to say this, but is it like rotogen or something like that? No, it is not. Oh. Okay, is it thanks. erg? No. Not erg. No. Current? No, but you are really, really close. Can good morning, do you know? Coulomb. No. You, you, you. Let me, no, it's not Ohm. Let, not Ohm. Let me read it again. What is the surname? Hertz. No. Mega. That's a good, <laughs> Mega Hertz. The surname <laughs> of the French physicist after whom the SI unit for electric current is named, the answer is Ampere. Ampere. Oh, for amp. Yeah, for amp. Ampere. Yes. Amps. Who knew that? Okay. I Who knew I that? Should've I should've that. that? I should have that. I didn't know that. All right. Um, what is the non-technical name for dihydrogen monoxide? Peroxide? No. Non, nine, 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 di, nine. Dihydrogen monoxide. What is the non technical name? In other words, the common Hydrogen. Name. Carbon monoxide? No. No. Dihydrogen mm. monoxide. Right. What is that? Good morning. Do you know? Water. <laughs> Water is right. Water? Oh, H2O. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, of course. For Joe? Yeah. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And I'm drinking it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, name. Any, oh gosh, any one. A- name, name anyone. Any one? <laughs> Larry, there we go. <laughs> Robin, there's two of them. Okay. Man, I, I, know, it, it, well, the way it's worded, it makes it seem like there's more than one, but it only gives me one answer. It says, name oh. any one of the noble gases that is not radioactive. It only gives me one, is though. Argon? And that's not what it says. But it, air? It, it gives me one. It's a common word. You hear it all the time, especially air. at Toys R Us. Oh, airhead. <laughs> no, come on, do you know? Well, argon is a good answer, but uh, there's helium and there's neon. Um, well, you, helium is on the list. Uh, uh, th- yeah, they should have yeah. given me more than one. So helium is yeah. right. Who's, who's so? So Joe said argon, right? Uh, yeah, argon is a good answer. Okay, so you actually got a point already, Joe. Oh well, good. Thank yeah. you so much. Th- thank okay. you, Jim. Appreciate thank that. Thank you, Jim. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder why they said any and they only gave me one. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, they were testing anyone you. that you knew, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, here's this an, is interesting. Uh, uh-oh. Here we go. What What does a plant cell have surrounding it that an animal cell does not? Chlorophyll? No. Flies? And I hope that's not another way of saying this. No, flies. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does a plant cell have surrounding it that an animal cell does not? By the way, I'm glad you're back today, Joe. Yesterday, Corporate cell? Yeah. I don't think either one of you were here yesterday, actually. <laughs> Does it start with an M? Starts with a C. A C. Cellulose. <laughs> that might actually be true. Good morning. Do you know? Uh-huh. Did Hello. I, did I get it? No. I don't know. All right. The answer is cell wall. I don't know if any C- of the cell other... Cell wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In E equals MC square, what is, Einstein, the, yeah. what is the name of the constant represented by C? E equals... Area. MC... No. Squared. And were you looking for what on that one? Uh, what, the, what, the, what is represented by the letter C? Uh, cubic. No. Volume? No. Come on, do you know? The speed of light the speed, in a vacuum. The speed of light. In a vacuum, oh, no in less. Wow. In a vacuum. Squared. Wow. Squared. Wow. Uh, who's the point for? Uh, point is for Joe. Mm. I already marked it down. You should see the not so fast. <laughs> I can tell you the speed of my dog near a vacuum. She just <laughs> runs away from it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mine likes to attack it. <laughs> 
Oh, so Ow, those two stories around. both suck. All right, here, here, All right come here, on. Thank you. Here, here's, a, here's a chemistry question. Complete the other half of the ideal gas law. <laughs> beans. PV. Oh, I thought it was equal, beans. Sorry. PV equals what? PV equals. That's beans, I said. That's the other half of the ideal gas law. Holy macro. Is, I, the other half of the, I, I, I never solid. heard of the ideal gas law. Solid? No. The Come on, do you know? I don't know. PV equals NRT. <laughs> you are so right. Of That's course. That's amazing. You should have known that. NRT. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the point is for Joe. Joe gets it. He's nice red it. tomatoes. And RT. And RT. <laughs> nice uh, red tomatoes, yes. Nice red, red tomatoes, red. yes. Wow. I don't even know what the ideal gas law is. <laughs> That's what it is now. Uh, what German speaking friar is famous for discovering the field of genetics? <laughs> he, got, he got slapped so many times. Tuck. Friar Tuck. <laughs> Not Friar Tuck. Come on, do you know? <laughs> Mendel. Mendel is right. <laughs> <laughs> and the point? Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Five for Fred and me and nine <laughs> These for two guys are amazing. Uh -huh. I know. I swear they should go on Jeopardy or something. Uh -huh. I know Pete already has. But are you allowed to go on a second time? I don't. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. Um, what is the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere? Carbon monoxide. No. I don't know. I know it's not oxygen. It's not oxygen. I know that. Right? It Water. Was, Hydrogen. No, and no. Come on, do you know? Nitrogen. Nitrogen is I right. I was getting there. I was getting there. <laughs> and Robin, guess that's for Robin. Thank okay. you. Six for Fred. Nine for Mark. Right, here's a fun one, and you'll f you'll see why it's fun when you f know the answer. <laughs> Helium! <laughs> Helium's the answer! Using, using <laughs> element symbols, decode this message. Are you ready? Mm. Sulfur, polonium, carbon, potassium. It's a, it's a coded message using the element symbols. So what is, what is it, what's the message? Sulfur, polonium, carbon, potassium. Some people <laughs> can poop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no? I think, come on. I missed have, the whole thing, huh? You want to guess? Spock. Spock is right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who's the point and for? The point is for Joe. Wow. Spock. Spock. Wow. Spock. Ooga. Okay. Spock. Spock. Who knew? I didn't know Spock was doing <laughs> that. That's a, that's, a, that's a nerdy Star Trek question if I ever heard one. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. All right. What kind of number has factors that sum to itself like six equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 or 28 equals 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 14. Finite? What are you looking for, the number? <laughs> Is he looking for the number? I'm asking what kind of number has factors that sum to itself like 6. You mean primary numbers? No, but you're kind of on the right track. Infinite. No, but you kind of on the right track. It's a it's a some kind of a number and the first the word I'm looking for starts with a P. Well just like my Pontiac. Not primary. <laughs> no. Uh petroleum though. No. Six equals primary one plus two plus three. Uh, six. Or twenty eight equals one plus two plus four Principal. plus seven. No, it's perfect. It's a perfect, perfect number. Perfect number. I don't get that at either. I don't I watched the movie Perfect Ten, but I don't know what anybody <laughs> Oh I did too. That was good. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh -huh. I heard the song Bolero. All right, roll up that, roll up the sound. I right. think we're close. Oh my gosh, we're done. Who All wins? Right. Who wins? Uh, oh, uh, uh, Marcus wins. Yeah, Come man. pick up your prize, Marcus. Sorry, Fred. <sighs> oh man, that's Yay. too fun. This is WOCO Kella, the source. Fox News Radio. I'm Pat O'Neill. Rand Paul making it official on his website. The Kentucky senator is running for the Republican presidential nomination. The theme of this campaign: defeat the Washington machine. Paul's anti-establishment bend already sparking attacks from both ends of the political political spectrum, but Paul says his brand of republicanism attracts younger voters. Fox Radio's Jared Halpern in Louisville, Kentucky. In New York City, a man charged with trying to recruit for a terrorist group. According to prosecutors, this Uzbek citizen who lived in Brooklyn is part of an alleged plot to help two other Brooklyn men travel to Turkey and then Syria for the purpose of waging violent jihad on behalf of ISIS. Fox's Laura Engel.